nyo ba matuto ngayon? Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Magandang araw sa'yo! Ngayong araw na ito ay may ibabahagi akong English term and math term at gagamitin natin ito in English sentence and in math sentence. Nang sa ganoon ay mapagkumpara natin ang difference ng dalawang terms. Halika! Simulan na natin. Halika! Samahan nyo kami dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may panibago kayong kaalaman na malalaman. Ang una na dito, bago tayo magsimula ay alamin natin kung ano ang English sentence. What is English sentence? The English sentence is an international language that allows individuals from various countries to communicate for various purposes. What is mad sentence? Mad sentence. Mathematics is a scientific language but it is also a language that is used for communicating and explaining many situations in everyday life. Now you know. Let's have an examples. First example, degree. Ano ba tong degree na to? What's the difference of this word in math sentence and in English sentence? Let me give you an example. In English, we can say, This job demands a high degree of skill. O diba, pasok yung word na degree doon? Another one. He received a doctor's degree. The meaning of that is, in education, a degree is one of various titles bestowed by colleges and universities to reflect the completion of a course of study or the level of academic achievement. Like, yun nga. She has a degree in sociology and politics. But what if, yung word na degree ay i-apply naman natin in mod sentence. Example, there are 360 degrees in a circle. And another one. The degree of an angle is measured by using a tool called a protractor. Yung degree naman sa math na tinutukoy dyan sa pangalawa ay yung sukat. O kumusta? Naintindihan mo na ba? Hayaan mo! Para mas lalo mong maintindihan, magbibigay pa ako ng madaming examples. Second example. Gamitin naman natin yung word na positive in English sentence. Sad to say, but your daughter is COVID positive. Jan's wife is positive in pregnancy test. The book had a positive influence on me. O ba? Ang daming meaning ng isang term. Tulad na lamang ng positive. Pagiging optimistic na nga ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Sa mga example na binanggit ko, natutunan natin na ang isang word ay pwedeng magamit sa iba't ibang paraan depende sa sitwasyon. Punta naman tayo sa mad sentence. Let's use again the word positive. Example. Positive numbers include the natural or counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 is neither negative nor positive. A number is positive if it is greater than zero. O di ba ang galing? Third example, base. Let's use the term base and use it in English sentence. She used her family's history as a base for her novel. A battle has a flat base. In math, 
pwede yung word na base ay apply natin ng parang ganito. In 8 squared, 8 is the base. And the result is 8 times 8 equals 64. Tama ka! Fourth example, sign. Let's use the word sign in English sentence. They force her to sign a confession. Can you sign this form here for me? Sign your name on the dotted line. And now, let's use the word sign in mad sentence. Example. Equal sign and addition sign are some of the mathematical sentences. Or, what sign should we use on two positive number. Fifth example, volume. Let's use the word volume in English sentence. Can you turn the volume up? Sales have doubled in volume. And now, let's use the word volume in mod sentence. Example, the volume of this container is 2 cubic meters. Use the formula to calculate the volume of the container. Sixth example, add. Let's use the word add in English sentence. Example, her behavior was very bad. How so? It was an add thing to say. An ad thing happened to him this morning. His behavior is ad. O di ba ang dami kong example na binigay? Ayan ha, for sure, dito sa 6 example natin, madami na kayong natututunan. And now, let's use the word ad in mod sentence. 3 is an ad number. 5 is an odd number. All the numbers ending with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are odd numbers. Seventh example, even. Let's use the word even in English sentence. Example, he never even bothered to acknowledge her presence. Four, gold, even kings, take off their hats. She didn't even call to say she wasn't coming. And now, let's use the word even in mad sentence. All the numbers ending with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are even numbers. 8 is an even number. Eighth example, similar. Let's use the word similar in English sentence. Example, my father and I have similar views on politics. This is similar to the example cited above. Your opinion is similar to mine. And let's now use the word similar in mod sentence. Squares are similar to each other. All equilateral triangles are similar to each other. In more mathematical language, two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent. Ninth example. Let's use the word times in English sentence. The word gets a bit dull at times. Life is sad at times, but it is up to you to make your own life happy. I find her a bit unreasonable at times. And let's now use the word times in mad sentence. Times 4 equals 
8. You are right. Okay, for our last example, average. Let's use the word average in English sentence. The average salary is 20000 a month. Average house prices decreased by 13% last year. She has an average IQ. And now, let's use the word average in math sentence. What is the average of 2, 7, and 9? And that's it! We now conclude na iba-iba ang meaning ng mga words depende sa sitwasyon. In summary, iba ang math sentence sa English sentence. I realized na nauunawaan natin ang mga words na yan dahil alam natin kung paano gamitin. Tunay ngang math is universal. It can unite us. Now, we truly understand the difference. Relate ka din ba? Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to this channel dahil madami ka talagang matututunan ngayon. Thank you. Have a nice day.